Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on plastic analysis. In this continuous beam, we are going to find the collapse load. In this continuous beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, we have two point loads. Both of them are W. In the span BC, we have a point load which is 2W. First, let us take the span AB. In this span, in the fixed end A, there will be a plastic hinge. In the joint B, there will be another plastic hinge. The third plastic hinge can occur either under this point load or under this point load. So, in the span AB, there will be two mechanisms. Now, let us make the first mechanism. In this mechanism, we are going to assume that the third plastic hinge occurs under this point load. Let us keep the virtual displacement under the load as a delta. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So, this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon 1. Delta upon 1 is delta. The value of tan theta 1 will be very small. So, tan theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1. In this case, we can take theta 1 is equal to delta. Now, let us take the right side triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 2 is equal to delta upon 3. We know that tan theta 2 will be approximately equal to theta 2. So, for theta 2, we can take delta upon 3. Delta is theta 1, we can apply that. Finally, for theta 2, we are getting 0 0.333 theta 1. Now, let us find the internal work done. In the point A, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. In the point B, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MP with the angle theta 2. Under this load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. We have to add these three. For theta 2, we can apply 0 0.333 theta 1. After adding these three, we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 2.666 mb theta 1. Now, we are going to find the external work done. For that, we have to find the height under this load. Let us keep this height as a delta 1. Let us find delta 1. At the distance of 3 meter, the height is delta. So, for 3, it is delta. But we need the height at the distance of 1 meter. So we have to multiply this with 1. Finally, we are getting delta 1 which is equal to 0 0.333 delta. Now let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply this load with the height delta and this load with the height 0 0.333 delta. Then we have to add them. After adding, we are getting these. For delta, we can apply theta 1. This is the external work done. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta 1 and then we can take 1.333 on the right side. It will come in the denominator. Finally, for the collapse load WC, we are getting 2 MB. Now, in the span AB, we are going to make the second mechanism. 
In this mechanism, we are going to assume that the third plastic hinge occurs under this point load. Similar to first mechanism, let us keep the virtual displacement under the load as delta, this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2, so this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take the left side triangle. In this triangle, theta 1 is equal to delta upon 3. So delta is equal to 3 theta 1. Let us take the right side triangle. In this triangle, theta 2 is equal to delta upon 1. We know that delta upon 1 is delta. For delta, we can apply 3 theta 1. So theta 2 is 3 theta 1. Now let us find the internal work done. In the point A, we have a plus D hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. In the point B, we have a plus D hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. Under this load, we have a plus D hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. Then we have to add these three. For theta 2, we can apply 3 theta 1. After adding these three, we are getting the internal work done, which is equal to 8 MB theta 1. Now we are going to find the external work done. For that, we have to find this height under this load. Let us keep this height as a delta 1. Let us find delta 1. At the distance of 3 meter, the height is delta. So for 3, it is delta. But we want the height at the distance of 1 meter. So we have to multiply this with 1. Finally, for delta 1, we are getting 0 0.333 delta. Now let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply this load with the height delta and then we have to multiply this load with the height 0 0.333 delta. Then we have to add both of them. After adding, we are getting this. For delta, we can apply 3 theta 1. After multiplying these two, we are getting the external work done which is equal to 4wc theta 1. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta 1. We can take 4 on the other side. It will come in the denominator. Finally, for the collapse load wc, we are getting 2mb. Now let us take the span bc. In this span, in the joint b, there will be a plus T hinge. Under the point load, there will be a plus T hinge. In the point C, there will be no plus T hinge because it is a simply supported end. So, in the span BC, there will be only two plus T hinges. Now, let us take this span and make the third mechanism. Let us take the left side triangle. In this triangle, theta 1 is equal to delta upon 2. So, delta is equal to 2 theta 1. Let us take the right side triangle. In this triangle, theta 2 is equal to delta upon 1. Delta upon 1 is delta. For delta, we can apply 2 theta 1. So, theta 2 is 2 theta 1. Now let us find the internal work done. In the point B, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. Under the load, we have a plus T hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. Then we have to add these two. For theta 2, we can apply 2 theta 1. 
after adding these two we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 4 mb theta 1 now let us find the external work done for that we have to multiply this load with the virtual displacement delta for delta we can apply 2 theta 1 after multiplying these two we are getting the external work done which is equal to 4 wc theta 1 now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done we can eliminate 4 and theta 1 finally for wc we are getting mb we have found the collapse load three times in the first mechanism second mechanism and the third mechanism if in the question collapse load has been asked we have to select the minimum value out of these three mb is the minimum value so mechanism 3 is the real mechanism and the collapse load wc is mb now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video